Howdy folks, vintage artwork on this cigar box guitar. Spirit of St. Louis, 1927 I think is when that flight happened, so this could be 20s, 30s, 40s. Three, I'm sorry, four string. Those four screws are the pole pieces for the embedded pickup, so that preserves the artwork on the front of it, so the pickup is inside the box. So I don't have to gouge a big old hole in the artwork there. Red oak neck as always, fret markers as always, logo as always, tuners, got to have tuners. Bolt for a nut as always. This one has a fret for a bridge. This is an actual fret and uh, sometimes they have to be pretty low so there you go. Quarter inch input, one volume only, no tone, as usual, signed and numbered. This little doohickey here, you tighten it and it brings the strings down. Loosen it, strings go back up so you can play slide guitar. Tune to A. This is A, E, A, C sharp. Now make these with humbuckers and single coils. This is a single coil here. I usually reserve the single coils for the artwork, you know, fancy artwork CBGs. Otherwise I have a big old honking piece of metal sticking right in the middle of the artwork so it kind of screws up the artwork. So. That's why I've got a single coil in there. Uh, all my boxes, by the way, I've got a whole bunch of boxes you can choose from, and the boxes that I use are all wood. Pretty. Real cigar box. Some of them may have a couple scratches and dents because they are real, they're used. You can get them at the local cigar shop. Put a whole bunch of polyurethane on front there. Shiny. Even gloss, ooh, pretty gloss, ooh. These are big old honking bolts for your strap holder. No sense in putting one of them fancy Les Paul Gibson strap holders on a cigar box. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for your coin to the